Hello, welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Skyping, PhD in Accounting, and our topic today is depreciation, accounting for depreciation. First of all, categories of assets. Most businesses use several broad categories of assets in their operation. Cash and other, ca other assets expected to be exchanged for cash or, or consumed within a year. For instance, cash and cash equivalents, accounts receivable, inventory, prepaid expense. They are called current assets. Physical assets that will be used for a number of years in the operation of a business are called plant assets or property plant and equipment. And we depreciate these plant assets because they have a loss in the usefulness of a plant asset as, as a result of wear or obsolescence is called depreciation. To match revenue with the expenses used to earn the revenue, the matching principle, the cost of a plant asset must be expensed over the asset's useful life. The portion of a plant assets cost that is transferred to an expense account in each fiscal period during that asset's useful life is called a depreciation expense. So what do we have? We need three informations to find our depreciation. Original cost, that is the purchase cost, salvage value, and useful life. What are they? Original costs. The original cost of a plant assets include all costs paid to make the asset usable to a business. Purchase price plus insurance, if we pay insurance, plus shipping, etc. These costs include the price of the asset plus delivery and any necessary installation costs. The salvage value, an estimate of the amount that will be received for an asset at the time of its disposal, is called its salvage value, also called residual value or scrap value. So take a look at your textbook and how your instructor calls it. Since salvage value cannot be known when the asset is bought, it must be estimated. So, okay, I purchased a new vehicle, I paid $20,000, I will keep it for five years. After five years, I think I will be able to sell it by $5,000. So, this is the salvage value. And the user for life, period of time over which an asset contributes to the earning of a business, is called its user for life. For instance, my vehicle purchased $20,000 my original cost here I plan to use it five years use it for life after five years I want to se sell it the price $5,000 salvage value and the total amount of depreciation expense is distributed over the estimated user for life of a plant asset Two factors affect the user for life, physical depreciation and functional depreciation. We will be working with a method called straight line depreciation that is not the only one, we have several others, but is one of the most used, especially for a small business. Because we record an equal amount of depreciation expense for a plant asset in each year of its user for life. So this is the straight line method of depreciation. So how do we do? Original cost, for instance, 2500 less salvage value, 500 estimated total depreciation expense, or what I was telling you, purchase a new, a new vehicle, $20,000, salvage value, $5,000, my total estimation, uh, my total depreciation expense will be $15,000. Dollars. And then, this 15000 if my user for life is also five years, $3,000 per year. Or here, total depreciation expense, 2000 Estimated total depreciation expense, 2000 Divided by user for life, five years, $400 per year. 
So let's go to our Excel file and see how it works. And then we will be back. So here, delete it. So let's consider that the date of our purchase is January 2nd, 2019. So three years ago, we are in 2021. Original cost, oh, I don't remember the number. So let's work with the car that I was telling you, $20,000, salvage value, $5,000, user for life, five years. So the estimated total depreciation expense, original cost, less salvage value, 15. Over five years, it will be $3,000 per year. How do we record it? On general journal, adjusting entry. So debit, depreciation expense, $3,000. And credit, accumulated depreciation, $3,000. What is this accumulated depreciation, professor? Let's come back here. What is the accumulated depreciation? The total amount of depreciation expense that has been recorded since the purchase of a plant asset is called accumulated depreciation. For instance, on this scenario here, whoops, first year, a, or beginning balance, $800. Plus depreciation expense of this year, accumulated depreciation of $1,200. Let's go back to our Excel file. Let's find the accumulated depreciation. So beginning balance at the end of 2020. So beginning balance here, January 1st, 2020. Or sorry. January 1st, 2021. Or, what is usually, or, yes, that is good. Total depreciation expense, 15. Divided by 5 years, 3,000 per year. January 2019, January 2021 20, year, 2021, 2 years. So, times 2 years, $6,000. Plus, 2021 depreciation expense, $3,000. The ending balance, $9,000 accumulated depreciation. And is the accumulated depreciation an expense, asset, liability, equity, revenue? Expense, no. Depreciation expense is the expense. Accumulated depreciation is a contra-asset account. It reduces the, uh, the balance of our asset. And then, original cost minus accumulated depreciation, we call it the book value. On this PowerPoint scenario, original cost 2500 less 1200 1300 dollars and then here original cost 20 accumulated depreciation 9 ending book value eleven thousand dollars and then at the end of the fifth year the book value will be the uh, the salvage value Okay, guys. Got it, guys. So, oh, here, the 13, and our book value, $11,000. And, guys, this Excel file is free, and the link to download it is in our video description. Okay, guys, question or comments, leave it here or email me at jscarpin at gmail.com. Have a very nice day and God bless you.